Right, we need to consider the quadratic pattern with the terms to K, 20, 35, and so on. And we shall proceed to calculate the value of K in B, hence determine Tn, the general term of the sequence. We proceed to solve this problem in a step-by-step -step manner as follows. Right, so first things first, uh, we write down the sequence in part A. And we start with two, K, 20, 35, and so on. So here we have K minus two. 20 minus K, and we have 35 minus 20, which is 15. Next, this term minus that term um, actually give 22 minus 2K. Then this minus that give us exactly K minus five. Okay, because this is a quadratic sequence, what we then have is therefore that this term must be equal to this. So in other words, 22 minus 2k must be k minus 5, which means therefore what we have here is that 22 minus 2k is equal to k minus 5. So that when we have 3k, it is exactly the same as um, 27. Dividing both left and right by 3, we have that k equals 9. Hence, hence k equals 9. So we've answered the first question because the first question was, that consider the quadratic pattern this and we had to calculate the value of k, we needed the numerical value of k and we have just found that is k equals nine. Then we have the second part of the question B and the second part of the question B is hence determine Tn, the general term of the sequence. So if you have that k equals nine and we have the sequence two, k, 20 and 35, so we have the following, part B. So we're going to have exactly two, nine, 20, 35, and so on. So in the end, now, if you subtract these, and you're going to have nine minus two, which is exactly 7, 20 minus 9, which is 11, and then we have 35 minus 20, which is 15, and we get further differences here. Right, 11 minus 7 gives us a 4, and 15 minus um, 11 gives uh, a 4. 2a equals 4. 3a plus b equals this. A plus B plus C equals two. And if this is the case, right, we then say two A equals four. That is part B. Dividing by two mean A equals two. Also we have three A plus B equals seven. 3a plus b equals 7, so that we have 3 into 2 plus b equals 7, which means 6 plus b equals 7, which means b equals 7 minus 6, which is 1. We have a plus b plus c equals 
the first term of the quadratic, so A plus B plus C equals two, A equals two and B equals one. A equals two and B equals one plus C equals two. So which means C equals minus one. T sub N is A N squared plus B N plus C. K plus B N plus C. which means T sub N equals A. And A is exactly the same as 2N squared. B is one, C is minus one. So this is the quadratic, uh, this is the general term of the quadratic um, um, sequence, the quadratic pattern, okay? The general term is 2N squared plus N, uh, Minus one. Okay, now we can do a check. The, the, the examiner did not ask us to check, but we can do a check in part B. How do you do a check? Okay, we got that Tn equals exactly 2n squared plus n minus one, so that T1 is T into that squared plus one minus one, which equals two. T2 in this case uh, equals K. Remember that T2 equals K and we remember that K is nine. So uh, obviously we recall therefore that we had the sequence A up to K 20 and 35. So, but we got K equals nine. So let's just, let us just verify if this is the case. So this is two into two squared plus two minus one, which is two squared, four by two, eight plus two, 10 minus one, which is exactly a nine. So uh, obviously just produce the, the K equals nine here. So we are done. Right, so we've solved this quadratic number parts and problem in detail and we're done. Thanks everybody for your attention and goodbye to you.